Los Angeles is the greatest city on earth, but the best thing about LA is that it's the home of the most storied sports team ever, the Los Angeles Lakers. My name's James Parker and I'm a super Lakers fan, but something happened recently that put my loyalty to the ultimate test. Yeah, it's, it's it. Jesus. Um, look, I'll, I'll call you back. Who are you? I'm you. I don't have much time, so shut up and listen. You have to take all of your money and make a bet. A bet? No way. I just invested all my money in a very hot real estate deal. The Richmond Project? How did you know about the Richmond Project? Because I'm you from the future, dumbass. And that investment is a total scam. You're going to find out tomorrow that you lost everything. He proceeded to tell me a nightmare scenario that left me trembling from fear. Not only did I lose all my money in the business deal, but I would soon become one of the many homeless souls who wander the streets, living a nightmare in this city of dreams. So I've come back to save you, but you're gonna have to get your hands on as much money as you can. Drive to Vegas tonight and put it all on game seven. Oh, you want me to bet all my money on the Lakers in game seven? No, no, the Lakers lose. You have to bet on the Celtics. Here, look at this. I couldn't believe what I saw. It was like reading my own obituary. The Lakers were going to lose and he wanted me to bet on the Celtics? Oh man. I would rather die than bet against my team. Hey, you take a real good look at me because if you don't bet against them, this is how you're gonna end up. How could this guy be me? How could he tell me to bet on the Celtics knowing that I bleed purple and gold. I was at the crossroads and being told to go against everything I believe in. I had to make a decision, and I had to make it now. Where to, Mr. Parker? Let's go to the TD Garden. I awoke in a cold sweat on the hottest day of the year, shaken but relieved that it had been just a terrible nightmare. No, oh, not the part about losing all my money and being homeless, because that really did happen. But happy that I did not bet against my team. When my loyalty was put to the test, I didn't give in. So, that's my story. I didn't bet on the Celtics. I had remained a Lakers fan at any cost. In a great city like Los Angeles, money comes and goes. You can always make a fortune, and you can lose it just as fast. But once you give in to selling out your team, well, that's something you can never get back. And standing here now, I can hold my head high and proudly echo the words of the great Magic Johnson. I am, and will always be, a Laker for life. <laughs>